Hello, uh, I had um, the need to develop and build uh, a stereo audio tone generator. So I did some research and eventually decided upon a circuit uh, that would uh, enable it to be played into a pair of headphones or earbuds. So this is a, a little unit uh, that uh, involves a little printed circuit board which I'm going to show you how I developed and milled it out on my little milling machine. So uh, stand by and here we go. The circuit is designed around the ICL8038 and here is an extract of it. And this is the fully developed circuit based on the ICL8038 chip. It's simply configured as a variable frequency tone generator, the frequency controlled by VR1. The output from pin 2 is fed via VR2 uh, which controls the output into the LF356 uh, operational amplifier configured as a unity gain approximately stage uh, fed into a class AB output stage comprising the four bias diodes feeding the signal into Q1 and Q2 which are BD139 and a BD140. This should adequ adequately uh, drive a pair of headphones or earbuds. Now simply with a, a pencil, a piece of graph paper and an eraser we set to and plan out the printed circuit board. This takes a few iterations and here I show three of them. Now this layer is then transferred to the drafting package where it is laid out properly to achieve the desired accuracy for milling. Here are a few of the various layers that can be achieved with this system. What we do next is um, produce DXF copies of these drawings which can be used in Vectric VCAR Pro that will produce the G code for milling out these parts. What you're looking at now is the VCAR Pro 3D depiction of the circuit board. Now we can start uh, milling the PCB and we start with the main holes for the transistor heat sinks. Sorry about the noises off, but I've got some road builders working outside the house. I have found that by spot drilling the holes for the pads, I get a much cleaner hole when I eventually drill them through with the 1mm drill.
This first pass is milling to a depth of 15 fell between the trucks. This is now the second pass and where it can we will mill to a depth of 30 thou between the trucks. This will reduce the possibility of forming solder bridges across the trucks. Although the 60 degree engraving bit is milling deeper, VCOV compensates for this by moving it further away from the track so the track does not come out thinner. And now we replace the edge clamps with a couple of uh, internal screws 
so that we can mill out the main outline of the PCB. Well, that bit works. Who noticed the change of T-shirt? And there it is completely wired up complete with sticky tape 
and cotton wool to stop things rattling around. The device will eventually have smart knobs on. They are on order, but I've no idea when they're going to arrive. And here's the gadget working. I think you can hear the right hand channel there. We'll turn that down. And there's the other channel. Both together. So that's it working perfectly. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.